So there's a lot of talk as usual about mental health and work-related stress and most health and safety professionals are, are familiar with the HSE's stress management standards. What are they? Oh God, can I remember? Um, demands, control, support, relationships, change and role. I think that's right. Um, now we can usually agree that things like, you know, being, being worked too hard and unrealistic targets, these are serious uh, causes of stress. However, there are some unusual causes of stress for some people. We are all individuals after all, and each person is stressed out by different things. And this is just down to personality traits and preferences really. And so you need to get to know your people basically to find out what turns them on and what stresses them out. So let's, let's look at these one by one. Demands. Did you know that you can be stressed out by having too uh, too little work to do, <laughs> too little work to do. People can get bored. In fact, there was a court case in France, I think it was last year or the year before, where uh, an, a French employee had been working for many years in this department and he had nothing to do. And he, he called it a form of psychological torture. And he won his case because it led to stress and depression. Basically, he felt like his work was meaningless and served no purpose and it depressed him and that was a work-related injury and uh, he got a compensation payout. So make sure people have got enough to do without them being overloaded to the point of being stressed. And targets, we can put targets in that category too. I mean, unrealistic targets are usually the problem, but sometimes the targets just aren't, they're just not challenging enough. You know, you, you need, we need a bit of challenge. We are what we call beasts of burden. We need a load to carry. We need to do something important and giving ourselves challenging targets, which aren't too challenging. Yeah, that's, that's really good for our mental health because that, when we hit those challenging targets, that gives us a real boost of, what's that drug? Dopamine. You get the dopamine in your brain and that boosts your self-esteem, no end. You know, challenging targets and hitting those targets, that sense of accomplishment is fantastic for people's mental health. What are the other management standards? Support. Are we getting enough support from managers? Well, I'll tell you one thing that yeah, we often say that um, managers sometimes can be a little bit overbearing and too, and too controlling, say. But you can get the opposite as well, where managers don't give you enough direction on what you're supposed to be doing. So you have to kind of like make up your own job. Now, some people absolutely love that. I love that. But there are many people who need direction. They need the reassurance of knowing that they are doing the right thing. The uncertainty of not knowing whether their boss agrees with what they're doing and how they're doing it can be quite stressful. And also there's control. You know, we often say that people like to have control over their work, which is true most of the time. But I've known people who actually, they do like they do like to be supervised. They do like to be told what to do and how to do it. They're afraid of getting it wrong. And so you do have to kind of spoon feed them the, the instructions. And, uh, and you know, we always talk about micromanagement being bad. Yeah, well, for some people, they do like to have a little bit of micromanagement. They just need closer contact, closer supervision. They find it very reassuring. Over time, you might find their confidence increases to the point where the manager can back off and let them take a little bit more initiative. What else is there? Relationships. Uh, relationships. Well, usually, you know, if, if relationships are negative, conflictual, bullying, harassment, th those are bad things, obviously. But you can get situations where relationships are just too agreeable. They're too nice. Nice to the point where no one's holding each other to account. Nice to the point where there's no conflict. No one says anything that might come across as negative or resistant. And therefore, people are not telling the truth. So people ignore the elephants in the room, which is, which is quite the problem because then all these problems just go unsolved for a long period of time. So people don't speak out and say what they really think because everyone's trying to be nice to each other. Um, so that can be pretty stressful. What about change? We often say change is stressful, which it, which it definitely can be. But you know, some people do like a bit of change. Some people like variety. I'm one of those. I like variety. And if I do the same thing day after day, yeah, month after month, I get pretty, pretty down, to be honest. I need a bit of change. So recently, because uh, I do a lot of IOSH managing safety training, in the, in the last year, I've been training the business development team for, I'm not allowed to say who it is because there's a confidentiality agreement, but it's uh, one of the UK's biggest uh, PPE and safety equipment suppliers. 
their whole business development team of some well over a hundred people and I absolutely loved it because I'm, I'm usually training you know manufacturing team leaders manufacturing managers and production and engineers and people like that and now I've got a bunch of salespeople it's a very different audience which means I had to pitch the course in a very different way so don't ignore the unusual causes of stress because some people are stressed out by different things make sure you get to know your people